Due to the remake coming out this weekend, I thought I'd go back and review the original Dr. Doolittle, directed by Richard Fleischer, released in 1967. So the movie follows the story of Dr. Doolittle, a doctor who has mastered the ability to talk to animals. You guys know the story. So anyway, the town that Dr. Doolittle is living in is getting fed up with him, which pushes him and his few followers on this journey to find the giant pink sea snail. So the movie is about two and a half hours and the first two acts are really just pretty much build up to this journey. And during these first two acts, it kind of feels like the characters are just lollygagging around, not really doing much. There are things here and there that do push the story and the plot forward, but really at times, it just feels like characters are just hanging out aimlessly. The story is not as focused as it could have been. And part of this is due to it being a musical, where the songs are not uh, an addition to the story, but more of a distraction. Certain characters obviously break out into songs at different points, but the songs are so long. Every time they broke out into song, I thought, great. Another five minutes of repetitive, boring singing that won't progress the story at all. And that's not a great thing to think when you're watching a musical. And even the dialogue in between these songs did not do a great job of progressing the narrative forward. There's one scene in particular where some characters have to break another character out of jail in order for them to start going on this journey. Um, so the two characters are just sitting there talking about their plan, looking at a blueprint of their plan, discussing it. The scene opens this way. Uh, and then another character sitting with them interrupts and says, but how are we gonna go on the journey if this other character is in jail? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that's why we're breaking him out of jail. It's somehow as if the screenwriters thought the audience wouldn't pick up on what these two characters were talking about, but it was very obvious what they were discussing. It just felt like every time the narrative tried to move forward, it would take another step back. However, even with these missteps, the film does manage to pull off a few important things. When the journey does actually begin, the film does pull through with its promises. Um, there were certain things mentioned earlier in the film that I thought, yeah, they're just throwing a cool word in there for kids. They're not actually gonna do or show that, but they do. It, it actually does pull through. I, I didn't expect to see certain things that were that happened. The journey actually has a great sense of fantasy adventure that I really got into. And part of the reason I thought they wouldn't do or show certain things is just due to the restrictions um, of technology for the time. But the special effects were actually done very well. I was impressed by them and was surprised that they could pull a number of things off. And while most of the actors don't do that stellar of a job with no help from their clunky dialogue, Rex Harrison does do a pretty good job with his role as Dr. Doolittle. He really owned it and I could tell he had fun embracing all the quirks of his character. So I know I said a lot of negative things about this movie, but the end actually does have a lot of payoff. I, I really did get into um, the fantasy adventure of it all. And it really does make up for a lot of the monotony of the beginning. So I'm gonna give Dr. Doolittle a six out of 10. If you guys have seen any version of Dr. Doolittle, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you for my next review.